what percentage of the EU's gas network could be biomethan? Well, um, today the, the percentages are really quite small. Um, we, uh, you know, different countries, different amounts. Uh, I, I know the UK quite well, um, and there we are, we're, we're injecting about three terawatts a year uh, in a grid that is 600 terawatts consumed. So, uh, well, the maths are, aren't, aren't, you know, it's, it's still only half a percent of the gas grid in the United Kingdom. Uh, but that, that could, could grow considerably. And I think Europe, it, it, like the UK, has the potential to generate significantly more um, gas into the gas network. I think we have to look very closely at what feedstocks we use um, and closing ourselves off to energy crops so early in, in the transition to a zero carbon uh, economy is, is very unwise because we close the door on 75% of the potential generation of biogas in Europe. So we need to be very careful about just going down a food waste only road. Does biogas compete with hydrogen or is it complementary? Well, I think, you know, if we're going to come off a, an entirely fossil fuel based uh, gas grid and, and, and move towards something that's more, well, entirely renewable and zero carbon, then well, you need to use methane, you need to use uh, green hydrogens. Um, there may be a place of blue hydrogen early on in the transition, and uh, may, maybe we'll need to keep using that going forward. Um, if we can get a carbon negative biogas, then that would allow us to, to use possibly more, more, more blue gas in, in, in the mix. But, um, you know, we have an amazing asset in a gas grid that covers the whole of Europe. Electrification is is, is, is a marvellous aspiration, but the reality is, is that to go to 100% electricity for fuel, for heating, and for our current electrical needs, is, 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 it's, uh, it, it would just, we don't have the generation available in, in Europe, and, and however much renewables we deploy, um, you know, the technologies simply aren't there for that. So I think you know, we need to work with hydrogen uh, and, uh, and biomethane together. I think together there can be a really good solution for Europe. Um, independently of each other, um, we'll fail. So I, I think it has to be a united approach. How can biomethane be carbon negative? So um, biomethane production, 50% of biogas that is created to make biomethane is, is methane. And then the other 50% is carbon dioxide. Before we inject biomethane into the grid, we have to split it. Uh, that leaves you with a 100% pure um, CO2 offstream. Uh, it's one of the only industries where you, you're, you have this very pure carbon dioxide available. Uh, so to capture it is, is a very easy activity. To sequester it, not so easy, but it's, it's, it's doable. And uh, with the right incentive, we can cost effectively sequester carbon far more effectively than a lot of the other industries that are, are, are touting a carbon sequestration, sequestration as an answer. And I think you know, we, we would be very interested in, in sequestering all our carbon if it, was, if it was incentivized properly. And really what we need is an underlying carbon price in Europe, and that would incentivize us to, to proceed down that avenue and, 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 and um, try and achieve best practice.